Today we're looking at section 1.5, best fitting curves out of business cash flows with Excel. We're looking at the first example there, adding a linear function. Given a set of data, we're going to want to plot the data, add a trend line and see the formula, and bring the formula back to the table to be able to make predictions. As we've done before, we're going to start by using the unworked worksheets that come with this section and are available with the text. The problem starts with data, hours worked and widgets produced, and we'd like to turn that into a formula to predict, based on the hours worked, how many widgets are produced. I'm going to start my formula. I want to select my data for hours worked and widgets produced. I'm going to take that and insert a scatter plot. Once I've inserted the scatter plot, I'm going to use the control or command key depending on your computer and add a trend line. The trend line can be various kinds of equations. For right now, we're going to start with the linear equation. I'd also like to see the equation on the chart. So I want to see the equation. And since my eyes aren't so good, I'm going to take that, go back to the home page, and make it a nice large size so I can read it. So this gives me the equation of this line. It's saying the widgets produced is 5.69 times the number of hours plus 12.542. I'd like to take this formula, copy it, and paste it into the plan production because I want to be able to use this to predict. However, I need to convert my formula from math to Excel so that's times x, and x is the cell B1. That gives me a value that's fairly close. I'm going to make sure my formula size is 12, which matches everything else. I do a quick fill. That gives me the projected values for all of the initial values that I started with. I'd also like to find the difference. That's going to be the original value I was given minus the value that I predicted. And we see that our project projections are actually fairly close to the original value. One of the advantages of doing this is if I wanted to ask what happens if I have 30 or 50, those are two numbers outside. I simply take my values, my formula, extend it out and that lets me project outside my basic region that I started with. I also might want to use this if I'm saying I need 40, I don't see 42 anywhere, so I need to have a target value for someone who works 42 hours, for someone who works 43 hours, and, go, and so on like that. So this lets me do a best fitting formula, a best fitting linear formula to the initial data. Thank you.